let's take the trade good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is the last speaking as you can see i have entered this trade very quickly because this is really one good entry for using the um scalping on fibonacci retracement uh, strategy by the way uh, that is a uh, not a new strategy it's on my channel if you want you can refer uh, to the old videos you will find so many of them talking of, actually two of them talking about the Fibonacci retracement strategy for scalping and basically what uh, we are doing with this uh, Fibonacci is we are looking to find the strongest support and resistance levels uh, without drawing the support and res resistance lines manually what we are doing is we are relying on the Fibonacci retracements so we know exactly where we can enter and exit um, I cannot explain the strategy in this video however since I have placed my trade right here on the Fibonacci retracement number 50 I can set my take profit to be at the next retracement which is 38 th what is this uh, sorry 38.2 so I'm gonna set my take profit right here uh, to be almost 40 pips of profit on gold by the way I forgot to mention that today uh, I wanted to show you that this strategy actually works on all pairs including gold as well and of course scalping the gold is gonna be very very profitable so we have opened this one trade on the gold uh, I prefer actually to keep my eyes on it however let's just check quickly the other pairs to see if we can find another good entry um, hold on guys one second please so this is just for the sake of our new followers and subscribers in this channel uh, if you want to know the strategy that I'm using in this video please go to the videos on my channel and scroll down all the way until you see that video right here um, this one Forex easy way to use Fibonacci you can follow it later by this video live trading Forex with Fibonacci strategy in brief in these two videos plus that live trading video as well so that is the video if you want to learn the strategy and okay let's see right now uh, I am on the 15 minute time frame on the pound CAD and let's see if we can find a good entry now of course as I mentioned before we never enter the, the trades blindly we rely also on the support and resistance analysis now the Fibonacci retracement oh sorry the candles are approaching the Fibonacci retracement 61.8 which is in my opinion the gold jackpot the golden jackpot uh, Fibonacci retracement and let's do some analysis first we can see that we had here a previous resistance which was also right here a previous support level and that previous support level is being respected and we can see right here we had a support number one and now the market is getting closer to approach and create a support number two on the very same level that means I can trust this level and by the way if the candles is gonna break out from the support uh, level uh, 61.8 that means that that trend has been broken and that trend actually gonna change the direction it's not gonna continue rising more up as you can see if you draw here a resist a uh, support a trend line like that indeed if you see that the candles actually break out of 61.8 level that means that this supported trend line has been breaking out and most likely what will gonna happen next is the pair gonna continue falling more down until it hit that support level and from that point it's gonna rise more uh, to retest the broken support line and then go down again understanding this is very important because it helps you to understand also how you can deal with the losses in case they occur so let's say for example this trade will go in loss if after I place the buy order right here if this trade is gonna go in loss I can expect where I can place another buy order I can know how to fix this trade or I can actually set a proper stop loss so I know exactly how much how, or how many pips I'm gonna lose in this trade it's really important to understand how these candles are moving at the at the breakout uh, time and for that actually you need a lot of practice and uh, to stay in the market anyway uh, I'm just waiting for the candle to reach this level 61.8 um, I think it's already reversing and it's already hitting the f level 50 Fibonacci, Fibonacci however I'm not gonna place sell order right here because I can see that the resistance you know something let me just change the color of the lines so we are not getting confused 
I'm gonna make them red that's better so the resistance lines that I'm drawing manually gonna be in red and Fibonacci retracement gonna be in blue color however uh, I can see that if I draw manually the resistance line right here I can see that this is the strongest resistance level and therefore if I see the market actually gonna reverse we can see that I can trust level 38.2 more than level 50 because on level 50 I don't really see that strong resistance maybe we have this one right here however that level of the resistance is really much more stronger and the market was not able to break out of that level for quite a long time since more than two days or three days actually that's why I'm gonna trust uh, that resistance level and let's see what will, what will gonna happen with this pair until it reach that uh, resistance level let me now delete that line because I'm gonna rely on 38.2 if the candle is gonna go down to hit that support level I'm going to place the buy order I think we don't need to pause the video I think it's gonna happen right now uh, just to save your time my friends let me pause the video and I'll be back to you once I trigger the buy order I move to the pound CHF and I'm going to place the let me just confirm again uh, it's not that strong to be honest however there is a pin bar here and on 15 minute time frame we can actually trust that I think I'm gonna place the buy order right here exactly right here uh, let me just explain to you the how did I draw this uh, Fibonacci retracement level I just uh, saw that support level right here and I draw the Fibonacci retracement like that and as we can see and I'm telling you always my friends we never draw, uh, uh, rely on Fibonacci levels blindly we always need to look at the uh, support and resistance first what I saw right here was a resistance level right here as you can see then that resistance has been break, uh, broken out and we can see that we are having right here a support number one and right here the market is creating a support number two on the level 50 of Fibonacci and what helped in this de decision is the pin bar as we can see right here this pin bar here however as you can see that red is still going against me and that is totally fine we can still rely on Fibonacci 61.8 to recover any potential losses from this trade um, let me just wait for more time and I'm gonna place another buy order let me go to the 4 hour chart just to confirm uh, I think it is a good entry as we can see we are having right here a previous support level and most likely the market is gonna reverse after hitting that support yes I think it's gonna be a good entry if I place the buy order also on Fibonacci 61.8 again so uh, still the trade is going in losses that's totally fine we just we just need to wait the right moment to place the buy order so let me now pause the video again let, let me check by the way the pound cad I think the pound cad is still not valid I'm gonna place the buy order if it reached this level of support or sell at the resistance however let me go back to the pound CHF and I'm gonna pay attention to it so until then let me pause the video and I'll be back to you once I open another trade and as we can see the candle is approaching the entry level I'm gonna prepare to place another buy order on this uh, level I think it's enough yeah that's here uh, we always have to understand my friends that we are relying on the price action on support and resistance however that is not something guaranteed there is nothing guaranteed in Forex we always have to pre uh, prepare to the losses they might occur and we have to prepare using proper money management for these trades someone might tell me that Salah you are using a 0.25 on your small account size I tell him okay I am expert and I know what I'm doing even if I lost all these trades I know how to recover please don't mind me mind yourself or mind your own business so anyway we just have to wait and see what will gonna happen with this uh, pair let me check the pound cad yes the pound cad has also reached the good entry level and I placed another buy order uh, I'm not just like going against the market I'm not forcing the market to go in my di uh, direction of course at all not 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 the case I'm just gonna keep my eyes on these trades and I'm gonna see if uh, they will go and loss 
uh, I will show you how we can recover these trades. Actually, that is a good practice. It's important that we are losing a trade so we can learn the mistake from the trade. If any one of these trades went wrong or in loss, I will explain to you the reason um, and I'm going to show you how we can actually recover the losses. So anyway, let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what I'm, what I'm going, going to do with these trades. So let me take you through what just happening right here. Uh, I'm going to close the pound cad because the pound cad has reached our take profit level with almost 18 pips of profit. So we are done with this trade and we can see for the pound CHF it is now going and uh, even the first trade both of them are going in profit. However the gold I'm concerned about the gold. I was about to close the gold actually at that level. As we can see right here we are having here a previous resistance level. I was actually going to close the gold however uh, because of my greediness I decided no I wanted to see it happening that uh, taking the take profit level or reaching the take profit level however the trade is going against us uh, the losses are huge on the gold so far however in terms of pips it's not that huge it's only 25 pips so what I'm going to do to do, uh, to do next is I'm gonna actually wait for the gold to reach the Fibonacci 61.8 and from that point I'm going to place another sell order. Um, the gold trade might actually ruin this video however we have to wait and see what will gonna happen because the losses might reach to uh, sorry the losses might reach yes to $100. However uh, that's normal that's fine because we always can recover from the other trades. What I'm going to do actually I think I'm gonna uh, place another sell pending order right on the Fibonacci 61.8 just to be sure that the candle actually or actually I, I'm gonna uh, catch this signal or this uh, trade I'm sorry about that all right let's continue looking at the pound CHF it is still going in good profit I hope it can recover the losses from the gold so far it's going in 15 16 pips of profit let's continue searching for another good setups let me show you what we can find and hopefully we can uh, make all these losses to become a profit. So I'm just checking the pairs one by one. Hopefully can, I can find something I can rely on to place the trade. Uh, so far, Euro Pound. Let me check for the Euro Pound. Let's draw for natural retracement. And we can see that right now we are on 61.8. I think I'm gonna place another buy order right here. Yes, exactly. I hope I'm not late. Uh, as I told you guys, we always need to do some uh, manual analysis just to check and confirm if our entry is valid. And of course, I don't have to mention that here right here on the left, we can see that we had so many strong support levels, which means I can rely on 61.8 for this trade. And as we can see, I'm already going in profit. Uh, now the question is where I'm going to place my take profit level. Now the Fibonacci retracement strategy based on that we should always place our take profit level on the next retracement which is right here 50. However that's not the case because it is not even worth it only 3 pips. However uh, I'm gonna set my take profit to be right on the next uh, retracement which is logically the next resistance right here. So meaning my take profit level is going to be on 38.2 and keep in mind that my, my entry is late actually so my profit is going to be uh, even less than 6 pips. So let's wait and see what will going to happen with this trade. I think I'm going crazy now. I'm, I'm just placing trades here and there. Hopefully everything will be fine. Of course my friends. Uh, this is Forex. Uh, there is nothing guaranteed. Sometimes we actually c might make some losses. Uh, we always need to prepare for that. Don't worry for myself. I'm prepared. In case I made some big losses from the gold uh, trade, I can easily recover it. Now, someone might tell me, Salah, you are pla planning to place sell order right on that resistance level. Uh, that is true, and I think I'm going to I'm going to do it right now. Yes, exactly right here. Uh, that's a good uh, practice actually we can like uh, like we can get every single pip possible from this uh, pair it's not a bad idea to place buy and sell uh, at the pullbacks so as you can see that was the pullback and I think the market is going to continue falling more down however 
I'm gonna set my take profit to be smaller this time to be almost 10 pips at the next retracement I really don't think the pair is gonna be able to break out from that strong resistance level right here most likely it's gonna eventually uh, fall down and reach our take profit level let me check the other pairs uh, I'm waiting for the pound CHF to actually reach uh, Fibonacci uh, 38.2 that's gonna be a better take profit level and even this one here so we are gonna get from the first trade uh, 22 pips of profit from the next one 12 pips of profit that is what uh, 36 pips, uh, pips of profit which is gonna be totally great for the gold as you can see it is still reversing and I think it's gonna fall right now so after we uh, make some really good profit from the signal or from the trade of the gold I'm gonna close this video and end it with really good profit let's continue looking at the pound CHF actually I might close the pound CHF right now I mean there is no point of being so greedy like that uh, almost 25 pips of profit that should be really fine I'm just thinking actually guys if you think this is easy you can open live account and do some live trades on YouTube like that and let's see how you do <laughs> it's not easy at all trust me so for the pound CHF we're gonna make about $70 of profit that's really good yes I'm gonna close it and end uh, the pound CHF trade now let's take a look at the other trades how they are going so far the gold is uh, gonna is going in the in the right direction and for the pound gpy is also going in the right direction and for the pound cad is still going really well so far as you can see this is really one of the best strategies guys and i know most of you really want to see strategies on 15 minute time frame because you like to spend the day trading and scalping i know that very well trust me I know some people really don't like the four hour chart they hate it because they need to wait hours for the good setup however let me now pause the video my friends and I'll be back to you to show you later what will gonna happen with the remaining three opened trades all right so let me tell you through what just happened uh, actually the euro GPP has hit the take profit level with almost five pips of profit and <clears throat> the pound cad as well as you can see the pound cad has also hit the take profit level with almost 10 pips of profit and the gold I was not able to record but actually the gold has reached the pending order and another sell order was placed and right now the second sell order is going in 20 pips of profit while the previous one is going currently also in 20 pips of loss so right now uh, 20 pips of profit against 20 pips of loss I'm gonna wait some more time for the gold to reverse as I'm to as, I, as I have told you guys uh, since we placed the sell order right on that resistance level at the Fibonacci 61.8 now for the take profit level it's not gonna be any more the 38.2 retracement and it's gonna be right now the previous entry point which is uh, at uh, Fibonacci 50 and therefore the first trade is gonna be closed in a tiny loss or a break even however the second trade is what's gonna give us a profit from the trade of gold so until the gold the trade expires let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with this trade so checking finally the gold is going in total of $24 of profit 31 and I want to keep it that way no need to be so greedy my friends so let's just finish it with this profit and we have made total of uh, more than $100 in this video I think like $150 of profit that was really good and just one second I want to show you again uh, which videos to watch for this strategy hold on so as I said uh, to you my friends earlier these two videos about Fibonacci you need to watch them but however there is one more video very important I forgot to mention before uh, you need to combine that video with Fibonacci strategy which is this one Forex support and resistance better understanding uh, this video will be very helpful for those who want to understand more about support and resistance they will understand more about the reason why did I place 
these sell orders on the gold and what did I what did, what did I see exactly that made me uh, take this decision actually the gold was going really in big losses more than $90 in loss and I was planning to close it in $100 of loss but however what I saw here about this resistance was really good and to understand that part please refer also to that video about support and resistance better understanding so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, live trading session and I would like to see your opinion and your reviews about using Fibonacci in your daily scalping. Trust me guys, it's going to really be fun and you are going to gain a lot of profits using Fibonacci retracement on 15 minute time frame for your scalping sessions. So until then, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.